Okay, you guys, so this is my yarn disaster. This used to be organized. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But see, I've got boxes that I ship stuff in. I have three tubs of yarn. A lot of this is the alpaca yarn that I'm going to be giving away to someone. Uh, this is a big mess. A lot of this is yarn balls that I'm going to be probably doing in a giveaway if you guys want me to do that. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> I have a rack for my um, craft fair to hang my stuff in. I've got cameras. This is where I film from. Yeah, that's a holy hell of a mess. This is the sink that is getting ripped out and a mirror. Good Lord. Um, the mirror is probably going to stay up because I think if I take it off the wall, it's going to take off the whole wall. <laughs> so, so that is getting taken out and this whole wall is going to be getting redone. Um, this shelf and I've got another one on this side that's getting sold. And then I'm going to put probably these uh, along this wall. I have a shelving unit from Amazon that's coming. So this is all my, my finished objects <laughs> that uh, I, I have to pack into um, some boxes or something. And then you guys all, you've seen all of this, right? You don't see down here. <laughs> but <laughs> it's like, oh God. So I've got all of that all here. This is all of the fur that I use for the scooties. Um, and then you've got all of this. This is all my yarn hauls stuff that I have no room to put away. So, yeah, there's that. <clears throat> okay. Um, this is the filming station that I have when I'm doing tutorials. It's an absolute disaster right now. I've got finished objects on my chair. I have stuff underneath my table. That's my garbage. Don't look at that. I have stuff underneath here that I have to deal with. I have, oh God, I've got hula hoops that I was using for uh, wall hangings. I might do a tutorial on that. I have some more boxes there. I have giveaway stuff in here. I have, oh, I've got yarn in this closet. Don't ask. This is some yarn that I had given to me, some yarn bee yarn I had given to me from um, a wonderful subscriber last year. Oh, I have all this. I have all this. Uh, then I have, this is still some yarn that I'm using for giveaways. I have whips. Actually, those are UFOs that are back there. That, yeah, we won't talk about that. Uh, I have some more tubs of yarn. I have, this is some more giveaway yarn. Um, yeah, so this is my absolute disaster of a room that's getting redone. Debbie the Canadian crotcheter, I think it was her, uh, was asking us to show where we crochet. Okay, well, here it is. <laughs> This is my chair with my heating pad and my computer and my headphones. This is my yarny disaster um, of stuff. Like this is all yarn that I am using or would be using. I got a big sack of yarn down here. Uh, I've got yarn books. I've got oh, all my pain cream. <laughs> And then this disastrous table, I don't even know. Oh, God, what a mess. I've cleaned this up I don't know how many times. There, right, wood stack there for the winter. Um, yeah, it's, I've got a towel on my, on my chair so that if my cat comes and, you know, sleeps beside me, then, you know, 
But yeah, this is my, my yarny disaster. This is where I crochet. So there's that. Yeah. So I, I have lots of organizing that I have to do. This is embarrassing. Oh my God. Oh yeah, and then I've got this over here behind the couch. This is other yarn down here. <laughs> and then I've got a dog right here that is so hot. She's just, right Bailey? Oh puppy, you're so hot. I gotta get you a haircut. Oh, look at her. She's, she's sleeping on her dad's jeans. <laughs> Oh, poor pup. Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? I am feeling a little bit better. <laughs> Every day is up and down. It's crazy. So um, I wanted to jump on. I have a few things to talk to you about. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump in, okay? Um, number one, you probably just saw the video. I am redoing this whole room. The sink that is right here <laughs> is getting taken out. Why they put a sink in a bedroom, I'll never understand, but it worked while well. when this was my craft room, it worked really well because I was doing pour, um, acrylic pouring paints uh, and stuff like that. So it was really handy to have a sink here. But now I don't paint anymore, so there's no use in having it in this room. So I think this week, I think is when, either this week or next week, is when they're going to be coming in and taking it out. And I've ordered some shelving from Amazon, and I'm going to redo all of this. All of this. These shelves here, I'm selling. I've got the two corner shelves. They're useless. So I'm going to sell them and then just put shelving all along here. Uh, I'm going to have on this wall where the sink was, is, was, <laughs> I'm going to be probably doing my filming on this side because I've got the window on this side. And you, if you can see this haze that's happening all here, I want to get rid of that right and i'm hoping that this is going to help my lighting from when from where from when i show yarn so um yeah so we're going to be doing that it's going to be a lot of work a lot of work and my pal that's the next door who helps me with organizing and stuff like that she's moving at the end of the month she just had a massive garage sale this weekend, and so she's not going to be able to help me. Anybody want to come over and help me? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's going to be a big undertaking. Yikes. Uh, so there's that. Um, I'm going to be going through my yarn. I've got a whole box of alpaca yarn. There's somebody I have in mind that I'm going to be sending it to. I'm not going to tell you who because she watches my videos. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be sending that out at, when I get this all organized. Also, I have two drawers, two or three drawers of ball ends, like, um, you know, little balls of yarn from like the end of the roll that I didn't use up. Um, I'm debating whether or not to put all of those into a box and have a giveaway. So if there's anybody interested, like if you guys think that's a good, good idea for a giveaway, let me know. Uh, I don't want to seem like I'm um, cheap or giving, just giving away stuff I don't use or anything like that. Like if you guys truly um, would like to to have that as a giveaway, let me know because there's a lot of yarns. I'm looking right now and there's a lot of yarns in there that are really nice yarns, but I'm just not going to be using them. Like 
Here, let go. Oh, sorry. Let's see here. Ooh. Um, just off the top of my head here, like this. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in that. That's the Lux yarn. And that's a fair size ball, right? Uh, I have um, balls like this. That is the rainbow yarn from Ice. Um, you know, like I've got like big ones, small ones. I've got like just, that sounds so bad. I got big balls and small balls. Yeah, here we go with the balls again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I've got, I've got quite a bit of, of yarn here that will fill up a nice box. So if you think that's a good idea, leave your comment below and let me know. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> uh, also, what else was there? Okay, getting on to, I, I wrote down my list of things to talk about for once. <laughs> And I probably forgot things on here as anyway. So last night we had one of the biggest thunder and lightning storms in Nanaimo's history, I think. Nanaimo doesn't normally get thunder and lightning storms. I think there's only been one here since I moved here. And that wasn't even a big one. And I've been here for... Holy crap. It's going on nine or ten years, I think. Oh, already? Wow. Um, but last night, oh, I'm terrified of thunder and lightning. Absolutely terrified. We had the most beautiful sunset last night. I'll insert a picture here. It was gorgeous. Not a half an hour later, it got dark like that. And I was like... Oh, that's weird. The next thing I know, it was like just the light show was insane. Um, and I, it, that was just the beginning. George went to bed and I ended up, I, I was sitting there, I was crocheting. I saw this flash of light that was like right outside our place. Like, like half a block away is the ocean, as you probably already know. All of the strikes happened in the bay here. And it, I just about crapped myself. And the thunder that came afterwards almost shook the house. I ran, well, Bailey and I both ran and jumped into that bed with George. And I was, cl I climbed on to George and I had my nails, which I don't have a lot, but were in his chest and I was just like, oh, uh, like freaking out. And he's like, what in the hell is wrong with you? And I'm just like, it's thunder and lightning. He goes, yeah, so. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like I have a terror of thunder and lightning. So what does he do? He gets up out of bed, goes to the back sliding door and goes, wow. We haven't had a storm like this in a long time. Meanwhile, I'm under the covers, and I kid you not, I'm under the covers shaking and crying. And I'm like, you asshole, you left me alone. <laughs> it's like, he just, he had no idea that I had this fear because we've never had a storm that bad. So anyway, um, he comes back and I'm, I'm just, he's like, are you under there? Like, are you okay? And I'm like, no. And he's like, holy cow. He's like, okay, come here. So he's holding on to me and I'm seeing these massive flashes of light. And I just like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, holy cow, like seriously. And I'm like, oh, you have no idea. And it all stems from my childhood. Um, we lived up in the Okanagan and up there they get some doozies and uh yeah it just 
not good. So, so I was absolutely like, I woke up this morning and like, I had to drug myself and, and then, um, he, he wasn't sleeping because I was just like on him and he needed to get up to go to work. So I stupidly got out of bed went into the living room with Bailey. Bailey didn't leave my side and I, it was really hard to keep her from barking because she was just, she was freaked out too. I don't think she's ever seen thunder and lightning. So she was losing her mind too. And, um, the light show that was happening outside of our living room was insane. And it was so close. I have a little clip of the end of the storm. Um, the storm was rolling past and this was going on for a couple of hours and the storm finally started to roll past. So every once in a while we get a little flash. Well, here's a clip of one of those little flashes and how close it was to our house. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, so that was my night. <laughs> I slept on the floor in the bedroom for a while, so I didn't wake up George. I was in a fetal position on the floor with Bailey, uh, and it was cooler down there too. <laughs> but I woke up this morning, and my back was killing me. Um, but yeah, it was not fun. Okay, moving on. That's like 10 minutes of your life you won't get back. <laughs> okay, this might be a little bit of a long video. Um, I think I mentioned this to you in uh, one of our, in the snack, uh, snack pack video that I have crested the 200 pound mark. Um, that's the heaviest I've ever been. And I'm five foot six. I used to be five eight until I had my back surgery. And then I dropped two inches. I couldn't believe that. But anyways, um, I'm at the point where I'm feeling awful in my own skin. I Things are rubbing like this. I noticed this in a video one day when I went to do something. I was Oh, I was waving. Hello. You see that jiggle? That's actually, that's not bad for right now. Um, I ended up putting a smiley face <laughs> right there <laughs> because I couldn't handle the jiggle. I was so embarrassed. Um, my side boobs are rubbing. And when you got side boobs rubbing on bat flap, <laughs> uh, it's not a pretty sight and it's very uncomfortable. Uh, I'm starting to feel my body jiggling. I, I hate it. I hate the way I look. I hate the way I feel. Um, I'm starting to feel aches and pains a lot more now. A lot of this could also be because of not paddling. Um, so anyway, so I, I've been looking at this for, for a couple of years and I've, I found uh, a lady on YouTube that I think is going to be able to help me. I've been looking at weight loss retreats and I know myself. I know that I don't have the willpower to do it on my own. I can't go to the gym and just work out. Uh, I, I've never been able to do that. I keep trying, but I need to have a buddy to do it with me. I need to have a coach that is going to kick my ass and say, you're doing this. Uh, I think a lot of the issues that I've got going on right now with my energy and everything, I do believe it's the diabetes. Um, I'm at 6.5 on the diabetes scale, whatever that is. I think that's like just over the line of having diabetes. Um, so I think that it's really starting to take hold of me. I think a lot of you, a lot of you make comments on that. And a lot of you make comments on maybe I'm anemic. Uh, I didn't even think of that. I have been anemic 
for most of my life. Um, but I can't take iron pills because they make me sick. And so that, yeah, I think that's, that's another thing. I think that's something else that's going to be looked into. Uh, like I said before, the 24th, I get my phone call with my doctor. Unbelievable. I can't believe I'm waiting this long. I wish this COVID would get the hell over with so that people can get back to their regular life and actually be able to go in and see their doctor. <sighs> anyway, I digress. Um, so once I get the blood work, I will let you guys know what's going on. So anyways, I, I found this woman. Her name is Kat Smiley. And she's an Olympian. She, it, she has so many degrees of this, that, and the other when it comes to uh, taking care of yourself, weight loss. Um, like uh, She's got a whole list of, of um, things that she is known for. She was doing retreats up in Whistler which is just a ferry boat away and up the mountain. Um, <clears throat> now she has just said, she's just announced that she is doing retreats in Parksville, which is 20 minutes from my house. And our dogs are allowed to come. What? It is a dog friendly retreat. That was one of my biggest fears and things that were holding me back was that I didn't want to leave Bailey at home because I know George would do a, an okay job for a couple of days taking care of Bailey but this is a month to two month long retreat and I didn't want to put that pressure on him I didn't want to be away from Bailey that long because Bailey and I are joined at the hip uh, so this is perfect. And I think that she will really, really love doing this retreat with me because she will get more walks than she's ever had in her life. Um, so I've been talking, conversing with Kat and, uh, she's got one opening left for November. I hope she still has it. Uh, I've been tossing it back and forth and, I was just, I'm doing the procrastination and I'm doing the fear. And all of a sudden it's like, well, maybe I can't. That's too close to Christmas. And, you know, it's like, I don't know. Like, And George says, you know what? You're going to do this. And he says, I think this will be good for you. And I'm like, yeah, but you, who's going to cook for you? Who's going to take care of you? And he's like, I think I can handle it. And I'm like, mm, I don't think you can, but okay. Uh, so I may have to cook him some meals and put them in the freezer for him. But I don't know if this is a one month retreat or a six week retreat. I'm, I'm still waiting for her to get back to me. Uh, but yeah, and it's a brutal a retreat. It's not a, it's not a spa vacation thing. And with COVID and everything, she usually does like 30 or, or more people at these retreats. I think she's taking this one down to four or five people because of the COVID. So, um, yeah. So I want to know from you guys, if I decide to do this, I should do this. I have to do this. <sighs> um, do you guys want me to film it? Do you guys want me to vlog the whole thing? Uh, well, as mu much as I can um, and do like a separate playlist for that. Uh, I will be taking crochet, absolutely no doubt. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to have some time on my hands after I die from the workouts. Um, from what I understand, the workouts start at like seven or eight in the morning and they go till two. Like you go walking, hiking, swimming, weight room. Um, like, like they are constantly moving from, for that whole time. And then after that, you can go and do what you want. So I'm definitely going to be crocheting, but, um, yeah, I'd like to know if you guys would like to see
what happens. She's known for the 100 pound weight loss in her her retreats and I'm not sure if that's the two month that might be two months but uh yeah I'm like wow okay but I've been watching the videos you can see her on YouTube and you can check out her website if you're interested but yeah she it's yeah so I'm with my foot the way it is and with my back the way it is apparently she's got a lot of people that are um, that have a lot of health issues and she specializes in that. So, okay. And she doesn't take excuses. She's like, uh, uh, you're not doing that. You're not self-sabotaging. You're going to do this. And that's what I need. So, yeah. So anyways, let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, oh, <laughs> I was going to send Jennifer from, um, oh, I just went, whoosh. hold that thought. Okay. So my mind is completely trashed. <laughs> I took just about five minutes trying to figure out what Jennifer's freaking channel name is. Holy cow. Cinnamon stitches. Hello. Wow. Okay. You know what? I'm... <sighs> That scares the crap out of me. That really scares me. That makes me think I'm getting Alzheimer's or something like that. And I don't even have that in my family. But I just... My sister's had four brain surgeries and her memory's better than mine. Like, my God. Oh, anyways, sorry, Jennifer. But, <clears throat> wow. And I'm sweating like crazy. Anyways, um, I was going to send her a gift for her birthday. And I've got all of it here except for one piece. I have been waiting almost three freaking months for this one piece. I've called them. I've emailed them. I've bitched at them. I And this was on Etsy. Um, now it says that it's in New York or something or Miami. At, excuse me. And they have no more information. I'm like... Okay, I'm really ticked off now. So I sent Jennifer a message on her last video and I says, you know what, I'm just going to send you what I've got and if this other thing shows up, then I'll send it afterwards because I am sick and tired of waiting and her birthday is already long past. So yeah, so I'm going to send it out. So sorry, Jennifer, I am so sorry. I really wanted this to be, a, you know, a nice surprise for you. And I, oh, so I'm going to send that off this week. Oh my God. I just, I, this should not happen. This should not happen. And this woman's saying, oh, it's COVID. I don't think so. I think it got lost. All of my other packages have, are coming. You know, it's like, oh, and then she tells me that it could take up to three months for this thing to show up. I'm like, it's not coming from China or from, you know, Brazil or it's like it's coming from the United States. Like, are you serious? Anyways. Whew, shh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. All right. Moving on. Next, I just watched Petra from Petra's Happy Place. She said that I had said her name wrong in the beginning. I don't think I did, sweetheart. I've always called you Petra. Um, and I remember a video that you did where you actually said to me, you know, thank you so much for saying my name right. Um, so I'm a little confused. <laughs> like, she said that there was some incident where she got really mad at me. And I don't, I don't remember that. Then my memory is just trashed as we just saw. But I don't, I think I would remember something like that. So I'm a little confused. Refresh my memory, maybe. <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah. Oh, she made this pocket shawl that, oh, it was so cool. She, it actually had like a collar on it the way she did it. 
It was so nice. I thought, wow, like, what did you do? Just make that part wider or something? And fl I don't know, but man, it was really pretty. And she used Flicka yarn. I haven't used Flicka yarn because I think it's a size three or something. Uh, but it was really nice. It almost made me think maybe I should get some of that Flicka. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay. Lynette from Charmed Grammy. Uh, I just finished watching her video. She called me out. <laughs> she, she was saying that um, because of the video of the blanket that oh, I actually forgot to bring it in. Uh, the blanket that I was using with the Yarn Bee Arabella, she absolutely loved it. And uh, I'm still waiting for the yarn from Rosalie to get here so I can finish that blanket and then I could show it to you finished. But I, it's in Canada. It just got here and I thought it said it got to the post office. So I ran down to the post office this morning and no, it's not there. So I got to wait another couple days for it to get to our post office. Maybe tomorrow. They're going to call me. I gave them my number and said, you call me as soon as it gets here. <laughs> I love my mail ladies. They're just, they're so sweet. Anyway, um, so as soon as I get that and get that finished, I'll, I'll show it to you again. But anyways, Lynette was saying that she loved it so much that she went and got her own. And the colors that she got are great. I mean, I can't wait to see what she makes with those colors. Because hers are, are more of a beigey color. And she says it was mauve, or we call it mauve, but to me, mauve is purple, isn't it? Am I wrong? Is it more beige? Like, I don't know. I've always thought of mauve as, as purple, like a, a really light, light, light purple. Um, but I could be wrong. <laughs> so, um, and also, uh, she was saying that... Um, She's not going to open up the emails from the yarn companies anymore because she doesn't want to have, she doesn't want to be tempted. Honey, I hear you. I don't open those. I delete them as soon as I get them. So I don't get tempted unless it's furls. And then I go, ah, stop. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. And I do that with Premiere and then I go, no, 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 no. <laughs> But I can't watch yarn hauls anymore. I can't open those emails anymore because I am such an addict when it comes to buying yarn that like, oh my God, you don't even want to know the credit card bill. Like, no. Oh my God. Um, so I, I have to stop myself. I will never go on a yarn ban because I break it every time. I, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Uh, and I never in a million years would have thought I would be saying that because I was never into yarn. You know, it's only been like nine years or maybe 10 years by now. But 2010, I think it's one. Yeah, it's been longer um, since I started crocheting. And I never in a million years would have thought that I would say that I was a yarn addict. Uh, but I am, I am. And now I understand my mother. It's either that or my mother's working through me and she's buying all this yarn that she couldn't buy when she was alive. I don't know, but my yarn, you saw what my yarn <laughs> looks like. <sighs> yeah, I have a problem. But anyway, <clears throat> um, so I get you, totally get you. That's yeah, that's me too. Uh, but at least you have a daughter that crochets now and can help you with your de-stashing. I don't have that. My girls don't want to learn. They're just like, nah, uh -uh. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, great, great. So anyways, um, also, I've noticed a couple of people, uh, uh, YouTubers have saying that they're getting a couple, like a thumbs down on their videos. I'm getting them too. I think that there's a troll of some sort that is just going around giving a thumbs down, wh whether they watch the video or not. Um, because I'm also getting some comments that are strange. 
not strange. It's just like a little gray video or something like that. So I think there's a troll that goes around and just goes, ha, thumbs down, ha, thumbs down, ha, thumbs down. And so I'm not, I don't even look at it anymore. Um, Jennifer from Cinema Stitches, she's learned how to turn it off so that all you see is the like and the not don't like or whatever. Uh, she doesn't get to see, or she can see it, but we can't see how many she has. How do you do that? Because I would love to know. I want to try that because it's annoying. You know, I, I don't even, I don't look at that. I don't look at my analytics that much. Um, you either like me or you don't. I'm not hell bent on, you know, keeping up my analytics and, you know, all of that. I'm just doing what I'm doing. You, you either like me or you don't. You like my content or you don't. If you don't, that's okay. Move on to something, someone that you like. Uh, I hope you like me. I hope you like my content, but I'm not fixated on it. And um, so, yeah, Jennifer, tell us how you did that. Because I think there's a few of us that probably would like to do it too. I noticed, I'm starting to notice a pattern with Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. When she goes shopping for her yarn, I think she does her yarn shopping by price like she hits the sales <clears throat> I don't think that she does it because of yarn that she really likes like she does some but she sells a lot of her stuff so I'm wondering if she's looking at it Rose you can tell me I you know but do you do like it because you know there's some yarns that you may not like but maybe somebody else will so you buy it and make something from it to sell it I want to know for those of you that are out there that sell your craft, do you shop your shop for your yarn by price, like whether there's sales, regardless of what color it is, or do you shop by what colors hit you, what what colors attract you, uh, and say forget what everybody else likes. This is what attracts me, and this is what makes me happy. And this is what I'm, I'm just going to make stuff out of this yarn. Or do you go by, mm, I don't like this yarn. I don't like the color, but somebody out there will. So I'm going to buy it because it's cheap and it's in, inexpensive. I hate that word cheap. Inexpensive yarn. Um, <laughs> I have to honestly say that I shop by yarn or shop for yarn by what attracts me. Um, I can't, I can't work with a yarn that I don't find attractive. Like it just doesn't make me happy. So if it doesn't make me happy, I don't feel the vibe when I'm making something. Um, so it has to, it has to have some degree of attraction for me. So, but that's just me. But I'm curious to find out, you know, how many of you shop a different way? And if you don't shop by either of those and you have another way of shopping, let me know, right? I think that would be really cool to find out. I have an idea and I'll, I'll do another video specifically for this. But my idea is, and I've talked this over with, um, I think it was Lisa from Lisa's Crochet a while back and I just never got around to it. But I think I'm going to do it because I think it's kind of a cool idea. What I want to do is I want to have a list of YouTubers, content creators that will join me in what I'm calling the sisterhood of the traveling hook. And what I want to do is I want to send one crochet hook and it's probably going to be a 5.5 millimeter hook. And I'm going to send it in a package to these YouTubers. But I'm going to send, send it to the first YouTuber. That YouTuber is going to do a video on it and say, you know, they're going to make something with this hook. 
I'm going to have this travel log in the package. So you're going to put your name, the date, what you made, and whether or not you liked the hook, um, you know, and just put com a comment about it. Then they're going to do a video. They're going to show you the hook. They're going to show you what they've made with the hook. You can use whatever yarn you want, any color, just whatever you want. Okay. But you have to make it with this hook and you have like a, say a two week period with that hook to make your project. Then I send you the address. It's kind of like the carousel box, but it's just a hook. And so, oh, sorry. Um, and then you're going to, I'm going to send you the address of the next person and you're going to send it to that content creator. And they're going to do a video and, sh and do the whole thing all over again. And we're going to go through all of these content creators and see what they've made with this hook. And then it will be sent back to me. Uh, and I will have the log of everybody that has done something with it. I will have all the videos. You'll send me a link to the video uh, of your finished product, pro product, project, and I will put it into a playlist. So that is my plan. I'm going to be in the next couple of days, I am going to be doing a video specifically for this, asking for content creators to um, send me an email with their information and th tell me if they want to do it. Okay. I think this is going to be a great idea. I am so excited about it. I thought I loved the movie Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I, <laughs> I loved that series. So I thought Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook was the perfect idea, right? It's not going to cost a lot to ship that package. It's just going to go in a melanin envelope and be shipped off. And then we get to see everybody's project that they did. So yeah, so that is my big news. I'm so excited. It could be a big project or a small project, depending on how fast you crochet. But that hook has to be in the mail in two weeks to the next person. Um, I'm making another blanket. <laughs> oh, this is just the beginnings of it. It's just your basic granny. And it's done with, it's made with Bernat premium yarn that you get at Walmart. I don't know why I went with these colors. I think it was just because that's what I had on hand. <laughs> so I don't know how big I'm going to make this, but that's the beginning of my whip or my one whip anyway i finished my big giant cowl scarf thing um <laughs> it's not 10 feet long <laughs> i i haven't quite finished it i still have to put the pom-poms on it but um yeah so here it is <laughs> it's um yeah. So what I did was I gathered the end. Ooh. Like that. And I'm going to put a pom pom on the end of the, the ends, the end of the ends. Yeah. That makes sense, Andy. So I didn't measure how long it is, but it's really long. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> But I was curious and I wanted to try it and I used six balls or six skeins of the uh, of the e country loom in these colors. <laughs> uh, oh, stay, don't fall. Uh, so yeah, so it's done. Ta-da! I think that's all I have to talk to you about. And you guys are probably thinking, thank God. Like, you can just shut up, woman. <laughs> I'm feeling better today, so I'm talkative. So anyways, okay, guys, so that's it. So 
I guess I will talk to you guys later. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Try to stay cool out there. Because before you know it, at the end of this month, you know it's the weather's going to go whoop, and it's going to be winter. It does this every friggin' year. You know, it's hot, hot, hot. And then you're getting that sunburn the one week and then the next week it's starting to snow. So, <laughs> so it's coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you all. Thank you for being here. And I will talk to you later. Bye.